Tributes have been pouring in today for this sweet dog. It is sled K9 Koba who was shot and killed in the line of duty yesterday in prosperity. Here's what we know. Deputies say an armed suspect opened fire at both sled agents and Newberry deputies after the team was trying to serve a warrant. Investigators say Koba went towards the suspect and that man shot and killed him. Deputies say they returned fire and hit the suspect. The suspect is expected to survive. And believe it or not, Coba is the second canine officer to be shot and killed here in South Carolina in the past year. These dogs can save the lives of our law enforcement officers on a daily basis. So News 19's Cassidy Byer is taking a closer look tonight into the relationship between a canine officer and their handler. Darcy, Andrea, following the recent tragedy of four-year-old sled canine Koba and Rico, another sled dog shot and killed in September, I set out to learn more about their training and the bond these remarkable dogs build with their handlers and fellow officers. The reality is, in the, in the, the term or phrase in the business, is we find uh, what you fear. Master Officer for Bureau of Protective Services Ivan Borochak and his two and a half year old canine partner Georgie know that this job comes with the possibility of dangerous consequences. Um, with her being an explosive detection dog, there is always that chance that she could find a device that was rigged to go off. Georgie is a newer addition to the Bureau of Protective Services team specializing in explosive detection while also being certified in firearms. At work, we start out our day by w walking the whole state house complex. Um, she gets to not only exercise, but stay active and engage with her environment. Georgie makes sure no guns or explosives make it near our state house or elected officials. And he's trained to read her reactions, whether it's an alert or an all clear. We've had a package that she was able to clear for us, so it was able to bring peace of mind to the different mail handlers and the different office recipients that were going to receive that package. While her top priority is to protect civilians and other law enforcement, Ivan says the relationship goes far beyond work. She's kenneled at my house. We uh, go on vacation together. We go on trips together. So she's she's definitely a part of the family and it's a 24 seven relationship. So reporting from studio Cassidy Byer, News 19 W LTX. All right, thank you, Cassidy. And Georgie is replacing a prior canine officer, Castor, who retired and then unfortunately passed away after his retirement from cancer. Dars.